when life breaks you? Are you going to listen to the inner bitch or the inner savage? It's up to you. Man. Don't make me expose you to them folks that don't know you. They gotta do you, cause nobody will do it for you. I'm trying to tell these guys, but I let them do their thing. Yeah. What is going on, my friends? Welcome to Knowledge to Live By. I am Rogelio Diaz, and today we are gonna discuss how to create, how to build more emotional resilience. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I did it, a couple of things that I've learned along along the way of my journey, and anything that, that I can share with you that I know will help you. All right, so without further ado, let's get it, pop! In all honesty, guys, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes a lot of risk and a lot of pain to create that emotional resiliency within the mind. There's gonna to have to be things that you're gonna to have to go through. If you want to increase the pleasure, you have to increase the pain. That's the only way, man. But if you can make it through all your breakdowns, if you can make it through and break through all your plateaus, that's when you're gonna start building this unstoppable mentality and this infinite amount of emotional resilience. You're gonna to get to a point where nothing faces you because you've been through so much, you, you've experienced so much, you've broken down so many times that you just you have no more tears to give bro but that comes with time that comes with putting yourself out there and doing things you're afraid of so that's that's a quick way to just go out there man go out there and what's what's something that that you're so scared to do that that fear has a grip on your mind face it confront it and i promise you once you're once you get over it and you overcome it you're gonna you're gonna increase your emotional resilience because look dude you're unstoppable you're not you're not defeated man no matter how many times you fall you are not defeated even if you feel depleted you are not defeated bro it takes it takes this kind of like self-talk to to really just just get it ingrained in your mind that you're not going to give up you know that you're going to keep going no matter what happens to you and this is how that having that mentality is how you start create start to create more and more emotional resilience. You see, you eventually get to a point where you know too much to lose, and you you know that your failures are just there to build you up. That's the level you want to be at, guys. Remember that Rocky quote, guys? It's not about how hard you get hit; it's about how much you can take and still keep going. Still keep going, man. Life can throw at you so many dark night of the souls, so much shit. But if you can make it out of that, man, if you can keep pushing in your darkest days, you are going to build an infinite amount of emotional resilience. But it takes going through that. It takes experiencing those, experiencing those painful moments, having those thoughts come in where you think that they're, they're yours. You know, all these negative emotions, these negative thoughts coming in. But once you realize that they're not there to break you, they're there to test you, man. It's about how you respond. So if you want to keep creating more emotional resilience in your life, you're going to have to keep this in mind, man. Don't listen to those negative thoughts. Realize that they're just coming in. They're just coming in because you have that emotion, that anger, that rage, that, that fear. So you're attracting those kind of thoughts. But you can change that in an instant. And again, there's another way when you start building emotional resiliency because you don't accept those thoughts, bro. You you refuse to let those thoughts define you because you know deep down you're better than that, man. So keep going. This is how, again, it's, it's a natural process, man. But the more you experience, the more emotional resilience you're going to create, you're going to build. It all comes with time, man. I'm telling you, dude, there's, there's so many times where where I just wanted to quit. Where life had me, dude. Life had me against the wall. But I had a, I had this conversation with myself. And that conversation changed everything. I decided right there and then. That no matter what happened. I would never give up. I would not accept that inner bitch in me, man. 
Cause I knew I was a savage, bro. I know, I know I am a savage. But it took being real with myself. Asking myself, is this what I want? Am I gonna be afraid for the rest of my life? If I'm, am I gonna be weak for the rest of my life? Like, nah, dude, fuck that. And you shouldn't accept that either. Cause there's more to you than you even know, man. Go out there. You gotta protect your dream. You gotta protect your values. You gotta know who you are, man. But the only, only way you, you get to experience and you get to understand you is by being alone and, and traveling and, and doing all these things that you never thought you could do. So go ahead, man. You wanna build emotional resilience? Go out there. Put yourself on the line. Be willing to die for what you believe in. I am, bro. I swear I am. At any given time, I, if, if, I'm, if I leave this earth, I know that I gave it everything. And I refuse to think otherwise, man. Because when it comes down to it, only you know how much you can give. And only you know how much you can take. But it's up to you, bro. You can only lose if you decide to lose. All right? So, hey, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for oh, just all the love, man. All the support. If you if you like this content, if you feel like I bring you value, bring you value, subscribe, show love. And until next time, guys, like always, life was meant to be enjoyed. By the way, guys, my new audiobook, Fighting in the Dark, is now available. You can find it in the description box below or in the comment section. Again, it's a free audiobook, man. I made it specifically for you to help you with anything you're going through in life. Apply it, use it, memorize it, and I promise you, you will not be the same. Also, if you wanna, I'm gonna start doing emails now, guys. So I'm trying to get an email list to, to, to start doing that. So if you wanna be part of my, my email list, I'm gonna put it in the description box below as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna always be sending savage content, updates on products. I'm, cre I'm working on so many things right now, guys. So if you wanna be a part of that, I'm going to be giving away, again, sh just knowledge, man. Everything I learned um, once a week is going to be an email once a week. So if you resonate with that, thank you, man. Go ahead. Click on the link below. Follow. All you have to do is put your email in the, in the box and click follow. And bam, you're in. All right, guys. Much love, man. Till next time.